Hi guys, today I'm going to do a virtual walk around a fresh and stop BMW 320D. It's the 2 litre diesel and it's the uh, AFD Plus Edition. Finished in this gorgeous jet black. As you can tell, lovely paintwork, looks really nice. Going down to the alloys, with the 19 inch M Sport multi spoke alloys, finished in black as well, with the BMW centre cases on there. And of course, you've got the M badge in as well, which look really nice. If we go to the front, if you have your BMW halogen headlights with daytime running lights. Really lovely looking lights and really clear. Because it's the sport, you have the sport bumper and nice uh, splitter, which is good. You also have the chrome around the kidney grills as well, which is nice. If we go to the sides, you have matching colour wing mirrors to the body colour. You've got your indicators on there too and black housing. Nice black trim going along the outside of the windows. You also have black B pillars and rear privacy glass. You've also got matching door handles to the body colour, which is a nice finish as well. If we go to the rear. You can see we've got the new style rear tail lights by BMW, which look really nice and they're really bright and clear on the road. You also have a matching bumper uh, to the body colour, so the diffuser is the same colour, which is nice and a sport bumper. If we go and open up the boot, press the button, open up the boot. As you can see, lovely boot space, you can fit loads in there. You also have different storage compartments for all your towing eyes and uh, bucking wheel nuts and such, which is really nice. If we go into the interior of the car. You've got the gorgeous full leather upholstery with stitching going through it. Really nice interior, so comfy and nice and spacious. You've also got rear fans for the climate control, which can be adjusted in the back, which is great. If we get into the driving seat, it's the same style seats, but you've got a bit more lumbar support with these, which is really nice, so it hugs you. Um, these are also heated seats as well, which is a really nice touch. If we get into the car, it's wireless key entry. So foot on the brake, press the stop start and car will turn on. You've got a gorgeous full leather steering wheel, which is really nice, and you also have controls on either side. So on this side, you've got your limiter uh, and your con cruise control, which is great. And then on this side, you've got your volume control, uh, hands-free and your mode select for your digital driving dash, which is there. So you can go through your radio stations if you want, uh, and your Bluetooth, which is really nice. Going down, we have leather door cards, um, and your stitching going through as well to make sure it's in the car. You also have fully electric automatic windows, the ability to lock the rear windows, and your electric wing mirrors too. You have your buttons for your uh, fog lights, um, also you've got your automatic headlight function uh, if you switch it to there and you also have your dip beam and side light which is really nice. You can also adjust the brightness of your dials uh, and also the direction of which the lamp is uh, on your headlights which is good. If we go over to the media display, it's a really nice media display, control this panel down here. As you can see we've got a nice navigation system which is really accessible and nice to use. Uh, we also, if we go to media, have a Bluetooth, AUX and USB, which is really nice to be able to do that to play your own music. If we go to radio, we have DAB, FM and AM, so that's a really nice alternative to our uh, internet radio, which is great. And of course, you can also have your own phone uh, for your telephone functions for hands-free, so you can speak through the car without having to pull over or take calls, so that's really nice. If we go down, we've got dual zone climate control, the nice uh, digital display showing that. As you can see, nice temperature gauge, which is really nice. You can see where all the air's coming out of. You also have your heated buttons here for the seats, which is really nice, and your aircon button. If we go down, you've got a bit of storage space, two drinks holders, and a 12 volt. And of course, you've got your gear stick lever, and your different drive select modes with the car, and your traction control. So with the drive controls, you can put it in sport mode, so the car will be more responsive, uh, a bit more power, uh, but obviously you use a bit more fuel. You have it in comfort mode for just your everyday normal driving and you can have it in eco mode if you want to try and save a bit of fuel uh, but obviously you'll lose a bit of that responsiveness on the pedal uh, but it's good for like uh, motorway driving which is really nice obviously this is all you use for the media display you've got your handbrake located here if you open up the center console you've got some more storage space your usb port to charge or play music through and then also you've got your aux port there for music so if you have any more questions about this car please feel free to contact our sales team and potentially this could be your next new car. Cheers.